be Cypher versus Ash here in the 125 FPS October League. Starting on Ash, here we go. And he's going to go straight over to that Mega as quick as humanly possible. He's got the lightning gun, got some shards. Let's see what he can do with, uh, at the yellow. Again, uh, fairly the same start as Evil Avec there, but Cypher gets the yellow with no contestation whatsoever from Ash, as he just wants to get the rail. He wants to make sure he has all the weapons. But he's not going for it, there. No, oh, yeah. he doesn't really want the rail. He's keeping he a high position. He, he just wants position on the rail. Oh, but I'm right behind him. Oh my god, brilliant rockets there, but he's gonna drop down. He's done even more damage. 15 health left. The Cypher has the last word. That was really close. Like, very interesting how Ash played that. He just could not execute how he needed to in the end. Oh, he's oh. trying to drop on Cypher. That would have been such a good move by, by Ash. Cypher was expecting it. Yeah, he was ready. So we can see already Cypher's awareness is spot on from the start, and he's gonna need it. Oh wow, Ash is dropping down. There's still a little bit of time left for Red, but he doesn't hit the rocket he needs to. As I said, Ash is going to a very aggressive early start because he doesn't he li doesn't like to chase. He likes to be comfortable defending it easily. That's where he's really comfortable. Mm -hmm. But Cypher didn't give him that, so Ash has got to play slightly uncomfortable now. Yeah. And uh, Red and Mega do spawn fairly near each other. I wonder what Cypher's going to do here to protect the items, if he even wants to do that. Oh, Red's up at the moment. He's surely going to go for Well, Ash takes Mega, and he's even going to be able to get out of there cleanly. Cypher may be missing out a tiny bit there. But here's where the damage comes out. Ash has to work really hard to just walk forward yeah. through that knockback. Oh, look at that move again. Ash going to be denied a yellow. Well, if he wasn't feeling well yesterday, I think he is now. Yeah. But, you know, we say that about Cypher. He, he always brings an amazing game, no matter what. But, uh, you know, Ash is going to be the first test for him. If he can uh, complete test number one, then, you know, it really is the big boss afterwards. For both of these players. Yeah. And that's 200-200 now jump up you know if cypher wins this will be the first final in a while on any mode that a deliberate murder player would not get to the semi-finals that's true actually well no ash is in the uh, semi-finals so uh, i mean to the oh finals. rail wow. Seth from ash sorry from cypher cypher still on 100 percent rail after three impressive where's the evidence guys Oh my, his rockets, he's just, you know, Ash isn't anything in these fights at the moment. Yeah, he's... I mean, Ash is doing nothing to Cypher at the moment. Pretty much nothing. Cypher is just super composed, he's expecting everything Ash brings to the table. Ash had one close fight, and that was it. Here's the time Ash for him to get the rockets the out. One. Oh my, Cypher jumped over that rocket somehow. I have no idea how he jumped over that. It looked like Probably. it was going to hit his legs. Probably burned his shoelaces or something. <laughs> Well, the yellow's up behind. Uh, Ash, Ash is at the red. I think he's going to pick it up. Surely he, he was feeling slightly skeptical about getting it. Yeah, he was, he was waiting for five seconds there to see if he could actually jump onto it or not. So Cypher is going to be giving himself a bigger fight next time round. Oh, oh, wow. What are you dead. looking at, Ash? He had no idea where Cypher was coming from and his reflex was a little bit too light as well. So this is, should be another frag for Cypher and Ash. I yeah, Gee, I was going to say 24 feet, but I wasn't expecting to be this early. That was very, very quick. Cypher's going to be going 1-0 in the second semi-finals before it even feels as if we got started. 100% rail, 40 LG. Only 6 rails, but still, I mean, I say only, it's, it's, it's a few. It's a good handful. Half a dozen. But, um, map 2. We're going to be going over to Lost World, I believe, and uh, is Ash going to try it once again? Aggressive start, hope for a lead, secure control, keep control, win. Let's not forget, Ash is also streaming himself. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if that brings technical issues, but that definitely uh, adds a little pressure. He does do it a lot of time. I'm sure he won't feel it too much. But we're going into map number two now of the semi-finals. Here we go, and I'm going to go on Ash off the beginning, because he's, he's really got to prove himself here. This is his chance. He's got the 50 health level behind. Gets a good rocket, or a half-decent rocket, at least. But he gets the mega. He might get the red as well, because Cypher is really low. 
Oh, is he gonna go he's lagging on the fight. <laughs> and Ash goes away. Off. He gives. That was a little bit too much respect given to Cypher. I think he thought that you no, know, I want the weapon now. Yeah, that, that was that was a good decision in that sense because now he has self position. And Cypher doesn't have the LG, so yeah. If that was his plan, that was that was a very good move. Let's see how his plan uh, unfolds. Well, if his plan goes any further than that, Red's gonna oh, be up yeah. at the moment. So is Mega. And actually, you know, Ash might not have been able to get a frag early on, but it's certainly attained a fair amount of control. Yeah, now he finally let Cypher get the LG, but he's gonna get all the way back. Great move by Ash. Fight. This could be it. This could be the beginning of something for Ash. He almost got a kill then. Yeah, but that's what he wants. Now he has early control. How Cypher gonna get into his control? It's up to Ash to decide. Mm -hmm. This is how he likes to play, so I hope you are in his POV. I oh, am. Yeah. What, there. on Ash's? Yeah. Absolutely. He's gonna find around the corner here. He's right there. Oh, he misses the Star Rocket. Does not matter. Cypher has too little behind him. That's what Ash has been waiting for. That's why there's the early GG on Kyo, because he just wants to get an early lead and protect it, as we've already said it a couple of times now. And uh, Ash can himself red if he wants to, but he's holding a little position at the top, but now he's been weakened considerably, and he needs to hit the right amount of LG. Cypher is running out of LG though, but so is Ash. So he's back to 100-100. Yep. And but a bit of uh, LG ammo. But now he's got to make sure that he's not only picking up red and mega. He's got to be getting at least a yellow, dealing a hint of damage where possible. He's finding a Cypher in the middle, but he's getting out LG. Yeah, but then he goes back to, the, to that yellow, and now he's applying pressure on the mega, but Cypher coming back in knowing where Ash oh, is. Oh, wow. my. That yeah, rocket could not have been placed better. Ash is doing what he, what he usually does. He's applying pressure, but... Ash, Cypher's just expecting him to be there, and he actually steals the mag and Cypher kills him. Okay, so Ash has lost his lead, but uh, as you said, uh, Mega Steel is going to be leaving Cypher fairly weak now. Yeah, I think Ash is going to be very aggressive now. Well, there's no red for him. Oh, he gets a great rocket, and the second is perfect, so... Well, that wasn't really Ash being aggressive, it was just Cypher falling to his rockets. Yeah, that was, that was unusual, and so Ash has got to stop oh messing up God. that jump, because it's going to be costing him his life here. Ash, it's a it's a third time he misses that rocket jump in this game. Yeah, that's that's not good. And Mega's up right now. So but does he want to be aggressive again? Because the Mega's oh, gonna dropping. be yeah, There we go again. Oh wow! And he actually manages to clutch it with the plasma. It looks like he wants to get onto the LG. Red is up at the moment. Ash has got to be very careful right now. Oh, that rocket was massively close. And he's trying not to give an ang a good angle for Cypher to LG from. And he actually protected himself fairly decently, but he needs this yellow. And he needs the other one as well, because that's where the lightning gun's going to be. Oh, he misses the initial rocket! One of those balls. At least one. That's a pretty good award to beat the Mega. And Shesha will have to fight for the red. He did some damage there, but he took way too much, and Cypher got the Mega. And now Cypher might even win himself the red as well. Mm -hmm. We've got a pause here. Hopefully everything is okay for Ash. Um, let's have a look at the scores uh, as it goes. We've got a little bit of lag on his end. Hopefully everything's okay. I think he was a bit restarting or something. I mean, it's a deliberate murder, so it's the, he needed a pause. But Evil's no longer in Deliberate Murder, so surely we've got to rename it. Excellent pause. Excellent pause. Prepare to fight. Three, That's what the XL two, means, by the way. But one. we are going back into game now. Seems like Ash has sorted himself out. Hopefully he hasn't messed up on any timing or anything. Ooh, Whoa. so much damage from Cypher. That was about 100 damage. Yeah, and 100 damage that Ash could not afford to receive. And Ash didn't even reply at all. So Ash, he might have tied this game, but he lost control massively. It's okay, man. He got shards. Okay, never mind what I said then. <laughs> and, and now he's really just clinging on for his life. Oh, he just he's even saw picking up the, He just picked up the 5 HP as well, so he's definitely going to win. <laughs> he did spot Cypher leaving Mega, so I think he's got timing on that. But what else can you get? Because Cypher at the moment is picking up everything on the map. All those... Items on the left of your screen. Those are all of them initiated by Cypher. Oh, and he's right behind. Ash isn't going to be able to get an item here, though. He's just going to take a, a bit of rocket damage, a swap that wasn't in his favor. 
It never is. I mean, he cannot afford to trade with Cypher. He needs free damage and he's not getting it now. And that's very aggressive. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ready for that. I can't believe he managed to make that go into his favor. Ash is going to take the lead right here. Cypher just went down so fast with that lightning gun. That Brilliant was, that play. Was, that was crazy. Now Ash has what he wants again. He has the lead. Was... Now he's going to defend it with everything he has. It was really deceptive though. I mean, in that position, it looked like, okay, Ash, you're super weak. You almost look trapped here. But Cypher moves over and he tried to jump up because he knew when yellow was. And Ash was like, well, I've, have you remembered that I've got this weapon out? Great yeah, just very good dodge as well. Yeah. That was about 75% LG with a brilliant dodge, so Cypher didn't do any damage whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Very well played. Now he's getting the Mega. There's a yellow over here. Oh, gotta be careful with his jumps. Um, but going this yellow has probably allowed Cypher onto the other one. And Cypher hasn't been taking damage for some time now, so Ash, he needs to start applying the pressure. He's missing us. That was all about Cypher dealing with the damage and removing half of the armor Ash has. All it's of really the armor. hard. As we can see from Ash's ball, he's, he's very good at applying pressure, but it's so hard to apply pressure on Cypher when he's the one trying to fight you. And he, Ash is finding himself in a position that I'm supposed to be the one starting the fight. I'm not supposed to be the one scared of yeah. going into a fight. And, and Ash, Cypher, just like that, he got the red and the mega. You know, it's all good it's, as long as Ash is in the lead. That's all he yeah. cares about right now. Cypher didn't even take any damage whatsoever, and now Cypher is fully loaded. Oh, oh Reef Ash, if he switched half a second later. Oh my god, he goes over to the rockets, but he's still doing damage. Yellow does just get taken, and Ash might have lost out here. Oh no, he won't. He'll be fine to get this yellow. All right. That was almost uh, another kill for Ash. Had he maybe waited another half a second on the switch, then we could have seen that LG all over again. And Mega's up, and Ash is like, well, hey, happy days. Let's get that capped out of health. Oh, he's fine. That's Cypher at the top. He switches over to the rocket. There's the lightning gun coming out. A great dodge here from Cypher, uh, from Ash, and he is going to pick up a kill. Amazing plays. Yeah, I mean, Cypher's throwing uh, Dash everything he has, but Ash is just very ready when the fights come. Oh, Ash was not ready for him to be on that side of him. Yeah. That's, I mean, Cypher is winning the damage exchanges. He's just winning the in, in between too. the fights, but in the fights, he's really Ash, the one who's excelling. Again, more fantastic damage from Ash, and he's going to be uh, rewarded with his mega health. He has no armor, however. And I don't know if he's going to be able to get some anytime soon. Is this yet? Oh no, I thought Cypher was going to be over at the lightning gun, but he absolutely wasn't. So Ash is just going to increase the stack a tiny bit more. And now Cypher wants him to go to the lower level, but Ash is never going to, to drop his position. Not now that he's in the lead. Yeah. It's just too annoying to go there. He sees the enemy is like, no, oh, I there is not Ash. feel that. That should be a frag for Cypher. Ash is so low at, at this point. And... Oh, oh, he yeah. tries to jump away. He hesitated for way too long there. And that's allowed Cypher waiting. to get to his one frag away from the tide game. For the 25, because he was on 31 health. He got 25 and then he jumped. But even that, he hesitated going towards the 25 because he thought Cypher was going to come out of the hallway and attack him again. And then when he picked it up, he hesitated even more. Yeah. Oh, Ash is trying desperately to run away here. Lightning gun from Cypher. The plasma from Ash is actually really strong. 51 health left. We've got a tight game. But off the spawn, we might see Ash do something crazy once yeah, more. He's going to go very aggressive. Probably at this mega. There we go. He picks it up. And he's oh, going shotgun. He's Two perfect rockets from Cypher. And that is the lead. And Cypher, this time he was ready. He, he already figured that Ash, when he loses the lead, he wants to go very aggressive. Try to get back. And Ash was very ready for that fight. Mm -hmm. And now Ash has got 60 seconds to uh, cure Might. everything that's happened now. I wouldn't be surprised if Ash still tried to drop down now and just go completely berserk. He's got a little bit of time to compose himself. I mean, not until after next red is it really going to become emergency time. But Mega's on his side, so Ash can go and get himself that. He's got time to get the next red if he wants it. Does he have a lightning gun? Uh-oh. He does, but Cypher just did a little bit of damage and Ash knows. Okay, he knows where I'm coming from, so I need to connect with everything at this point. And, but Cypher drops down and he's at the red. Yeah, Cypher so could even stay at the red at this point, but he doesn't want to. He feels it like it's a little bit too risky to just stay there and set the mega. So 15 red, seconds for Ash. 
he needs to go and find Cyber. And Cyber's right below him. And, come and Ash, he just needs to chase. He cannot force to, to waste more time. Let's go. This is going to be the final fight of the game. Ash can actually the good rocket, but... Yeah, we've got five help. seconds yeah. left. Cypher's just backing off. He's gaining position, and that's going to be another kill with a couple of seconds left. Seven to five, the final score, and GG. Is this going to be Cypher getting a 2-0 lead now on Ash? But once again, it's been a very close lost well today. Ash very nearly had it. Very, 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 very nearly. Indeed. Mm hmm and uh, that means that we're going to go over to the next map, which is going to be Furious Heights, as far as I remember. Close stuff. Ash almost pulling it out of the bag. What do you think went wrong for him in the end? Um, most I mean, it was severely. pretty much cipher, um, deciphering Ash. <laughs> Thanks. In, he just knew Ash was going to be very aggressive after picking up that mega, and he really had to connect with the rockets, and he, he did just do that. Yeah. That's what happened. Well, we're going to go into Furious Heights. This is the last lifeline left for Ash in the 125 FPS October League. Let's go in. I'm going to follow Cypher off the beginning of this one. And he's going to be getting the red armor spawn. Going to make his way over to the railgun and get a yellow. Traditional starts here on uh, Furious Heights. Ash got the, L, uh, the grenade spawn, so he was listening for a good 8 seconds to see where he was going to move. And he definitely That's why the mega that. has that little delay. Mm-hmm. I'm sure our Cypher will be expecting a small delay on it uh, nonetheless, but wow, a direct rocket taken immediately, and that's going to be very securing well Ash the second red armor. Yeah, very well played from Ash. He always needs to be positioned for the red, and Ash, Cypher taking a little bit too much time, but he has the rail, so let's see how Cypher is going to defend this mega. Oh, wow. Great direct damage there. Ash is dropping wow. down, it's 100% LG for Cypher. Yeah, First blood has been spilled. Pretty much 100% on that fight. I don't know what Ash was thinking now. I don't know what he was going to have on that on that area. Ash I mean, we know Ash oh, likes to rail. be very aggressive in the start. Unfortunately for him, that we... Oh my god, Cypher just connected. That we know Ash oh, likes wow. to be very aggressive in the start. Unfortunately for him, Cypher already knows this. And if Ash keeps playing this style, it's going to be very hard for him to... to sell versus Cypher. Yeah, that's right. And here it is, Ash perpetuating that aggression. And it's still not working for him. Three times it hasn't, and uh, we'll see how it goes forward. That second fragment cipher was great, though. His dodge, he knew he's available here, and Ash is going to go for it. And wow, he's just walking into the lightning gun. And this is not what Ash wanted off the beginning. No. Unfortunately for him, uh, Cipher knew what Ash wanted from the beginning. He just did a very good job denying it. It was just up to Cipher really to respond to it. I mean, I mean, that was it. He could have responded in a, a multitude oh, of ways. Oh, that. Ash was next to him, and Cypher and didn't turn around. Yes, position on the red at this point, so... But there's still ages to Cypher the top. gonna get in. Oh my god, good rail from, from Cypher there. He's gonna go and pick up the other yellow armor. What stack was Ash on after that rail? Uh, I have 53 health. Okay, okay. And he, he picked up the red just after I so he should yeah. have a decent amount of armor. Another great rail from, a uh, from Cypher, Ash. Cypher gonna himself. drop down. If he drops down, he knows that Ash wants to go. So he needs to be very ready, and <laughs> in fact he is. He can just drop down with the LG and finish the frag now. But he's railable himself, he doesn't want to risk that much. Oh, uh, Ash is gonna try and do some, deal some damage. Cypher looking for the rail angle. Oh, nice rail from Ash, but he stays in, in field of, um, in vision. And Cypher gets his fifth kill. And, you know, what happened on Cure, it took maybe seven or eight kills for Cypher to get before the halfway mark, before GG was called. I hope Ash can make something happen real soon. Otherwise, I'm scared we're going to get another early GG. He can't keep just aggressing onto Cypher without any backup plan, because if he does and if he gives up a couple more kills, that will happen again. Mm -hmm. Cypher's walking very slowly around the grenade launcher, just observing the sights. Let's move on to red. And it's pretty much so expecting quiet. Ash to aggress at this point. But Ash isn't aggressing, aggressing at <laughs> right now, so let's see if he's at defending the Mega. I can hear the tumbleweed on Furious Heights at the moment. Oh, he did pick up the Mega, so Ash is actually more stacked than Cypher at this point. Wow, okay. So the next fight could be pretty big. Oh, they both find each other at a similar time. Ash getting it. just a tiny bit of damage beforehand, and look at that, a little bit of a, fuddle, a fiddle with the weapon switches. Yeah, because he, he didn't, didn't know if Cypher was going to drop down or not. And Cypher really likes to play like on the edge there, literally. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so that the it's annoying for Ashley couldn't get a rail as Cypher was yeah. dropping down. Uh, Mega Re is... Meg's gonna be up now. Oh, yes, don't connect. Great work by Ash. And Cypher might be behind in uh, health and armor again. Well, he definitely is, especially after Ash picks this, yeah, this uh, red armor. He's gonna be fully loaded. Yeah, Cypher's got some work to do. He actually misses rockets. I'm gonna switch over to Ash again, because it's, it's all up to him. He's found Cypher. Here it is. Is he gonna go for a drop? Oh he my. does, but it's onto the LG of Cypher, which is crippling damage. But the rockets are working yeah. beautifully. Yeah. Oh, off the spawn. This could be exactly what he needs, and there's the rail right at the end, 2 to 5. Here's the Mega, and he's got to dash straight over to that red armor. The Cypher, he wants to go on the plasma. Ash, is he going to chase? Is he going to look for a rail angle? Oh, he's dropped. Oh, wow, a fantastic rail from Ash. I think he could have followed that, because Ash, Cypher's probably running out of plasma at that point. But he wasn't sure if Cypher had more ammo or another weapon under his belt. Yeah. But this has worked well, I mean... Even though, yeah. even if he didn't do that, he's managed to secure still a solid amount of armor. He's got the red behind him. Cypher on the side who misses his rail. It's, it's definitely not a bad time for Ash. But now Cypher is playing on a position where he's very comfortable on. He's out of control and he has the lead. And Ash is on control. He has control, but he's chasing. It's almost as if both of them kind of like protecting their leads, but uh, Cypher prefers doing it without control. Whereas well, I wouldn't say that he prefers, control. I just say he's extremely comfortable with it. Yeah, fair enough. So that's going to make a move now, he's found Cypher up at the top. He some damage, he's leaving that lower yellow, but because there's going to be Mega in just a second, he wants to do some more damage onto Cypher. Ideally, he'd secure himself a clean Mega. And that's some great LGs through the little gaps there. He even gets the third kill. Masterfully done by Ash. Masterfully really is the word at that situation. And he tries to get another rail angle on Cypher. It doesn't connect. So Cypher's going to be with nothing at this point. He has a yellow, but not with a grenade. Ash knows he can just push in for the frag. What? It should be an easy one. Why are you killing him yet? How is Cypher still alive? He's now seen that the red's still up. And he, <laughs> he gets another, another grenade. grenade. So is that Cypher, I think he, didn't he die, like, the last time he died, he had a rail out, so he probably has a rail at this point. I think Agent would have yeah. got that cl kill cleaner than Ash just did. Oh, you look at the rails, yeah. Oh, yeah, Cypher man. connect with the rails, he just, that's gonna be very painful for Ash. Ash? Did Cypher get this red? Oh, dear, I'm so gutted for Ash. He should have been near enough to run to 200 yeah. after that last kill anyway, and a fantastic combo by Cypher. He's gonna re-extend that lead even further. It's 7 to 4 now. I think Ash will be very aggressive now. For some reason. But I, I'm also expecting Cypher to counter that. Yeah, Cypher is he's moving as if he's expecting aggression. And Ash is trying to aggress onto him. He desperately wants his mega. But as soon as he drops to the yellow, Cypher is there. So now Ash, Ash can really aggress. But Cypher's missing his rolls. He misses another. Oh, he doesn't even go for it. Oh, Ash comes back out again. Yeah. He wants a piece of this, this mega health. And there's the vertical rail Cypher wanted. Oh, good rockets. Ash should be able to back off and get himself red, but he's just so weak. I feel like he should have backed off way earlier and got himself a red armor and just played the game a little slower while he still has the time to do that. That was a good plan quickly. from Ash. It worked for nearly anyone, but Cypher was just expecting him to aggress at this point. He was enjoying it. Oh, Ash has Cypher a good now not here. expecting this. <laughs> As he took him at least one good second to switch to the proper weapon. Here's the plasma though, Cypher steady on his aim to get the rail, but he's missing them. He, he keeps missing his shots. Ash runs out of the plasma of the plasma balls, and that's now gonna be 10-4 with around two minutes left. It is approaching GG's here in the second semi-finals of the 125 FPS October League. Cypher picks up his 11th with some style. And it might just keep on going. That's it. GG. 11 to 4 the final score. And Cypher will be meeting Evil in the grand finals. That's exciting. That is going to be a f fascinating grand finals. But well played to Ash anyway. He really gave Cypher a hard time. Fortunately for himself, he couldn't secure any maps. Um, but he still should be happy with his third slash fourth place that he's going to be sharing with Avec this month. This does mean, though, we're going to be going over to the Grand Finals in just a few moments.